for from probably your goats or even dogs getting into the pond but of course i'm going to fence i bought some uh, some net which i intend to cover up here to cover and create a shed an artificial shed then i'll put some uh, net on the side so that it's properly enclosed Yes, hello internet, hello good people, hello viewers. Today I'm here, uh, officially dressed of course, because I'm, I take this as work. I am at uh, the banks of uh, Changuli River, at around an area called Kasinga. Kasinga is near Mutitune Market in Machakos County. I came all the way to visit a farmer by the name Geoffrey Musembi. A farmer who does Azola farming and a very prominent farmer in Azola farming. So, welcome to today's vlog. Kindly sit down, relax, and give me your audience as I, as I show you what Azola farming is all about, the benefits of Azola, how to grow Azola, and the various uses of Azola. Thank you so much. Welcome and uh, uh, join me in my visit to Musembi's farm uh, and as you continue watching kindly remember to subscribe like comment and share so that I may, may grow my channel together uh, so in this regard kindly let's proceed to the farm let's go this is uh, Musembi's farm this is uh, Musembi's farm I'm taking you, we are at Mutituni in Machakos County. I'm taking you to Mr. Musembi's farm so that I can show you what Azola farming is all about. I promised viewers that I'll be going down deep to where the farmer is so that I can get you content on farming. Why pay more? Azola is a complement uh, to animal feed and poultry feed. And uh, this is to bring about, this is to show you uh, uh, the, the, the alternative to chicken feed or poultry feed, ducks, turkeys, your guinea foals, your chicken, this is the secret. It's a new concept, it's the new kid on the block. So welcome to Azola Farming. Let's go. Me viewer, we are almost there. This is a, a young farmer farm at uh, Mutituni area of Machakos County and with me I'm going to meet Mr. Musemi. Hello, Bwana Musemi. Hello, hello. How are you? I am very sane. Asante, Fine. asante. Welcome, welcome Mr. Eva. Asante. Yeah. Um, I feel privileged to be here today. Yeah. I decided to bring our viewers to where you are. Yeah, they are the, very the welcome. guru in Azola farming and uh, uh, tell us what you do around this place and at the farm. Uh, in our farm, we are majorly doing Azola. Azola, we are using it to cut costs in poultry farming. We are using it as an alternative to the poultry feeds. Yes. This is what we call Azola yes. This is what we use. This is Azola? Yes, this is Azola. Very, very, very high in protein. Oh. Very high in protein. Very high in protein. This yes. is Azola now. Very high in protein. You, as you can see what Azola is all about. If you may bring the camera close, this is Azola. I don't know what it is, but I understand this is a bacteria, a fern, uh, which is very, very high in protein. When you say very, very high in protein, what do you mean? What percentage of protein are you talking about? Azola is high in protein. It's 30 to 37 percent. 30 to 37 percent. Yes, it's the highest source of protein now. For the animals, oh, the highest source. Okay. It is also has lipids. Yes. Lipids. Amino acids very mm -hmm. high. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
uh, viewers, my very good friend Farmer Musembi, Geoffrey Musembi, that is his name, tells me it is very high in lipids and amino acids and it has 30 to 37 percent protein content and it is very ideal for feeding your your birds uh, or all birds poultry livestock, Let's say livestock. livestock yes, generally yes, yes. Uh, cattle cow goat uh, goat sheep, sheep, everything rabbits. everything mm. viewer this is now the new thing the new thing the in thing in poultry feeding i mean it, when it comes to protein for your animals so, yes. so how do you grow this thing? Azola is very simple to catch up. Mm -hmm. You only need cow dung. We use cow dung only here. Yes. That is what we use to fertilize our farm. Yes. I'll show you some of the things we do. Yes. Uh, I'll show you. You only need cow The primary component in Azola farming it's is cow dung. Yes, yes, cow dung. Why cow dung? Cow dung. Why not uh, ashes or, or probably soil? Why cow dug? Cow dug? Mm -hmm. Azola, first of all, mm -hmm. Azola grows in uh, optimum pH of 7. Optimum pH of 7? Yes. So, so the water has to be has to as be well as a pH of mm -hmm. around 7. But it can still go in the range of from 4.0 mm -hmm. to, to 10. Yes. But the optimum is 7. Yes. So the other types of manures mm -hmm. have high pH content. Mm -hmm. You can see the goat manure, yes. the chicken manure. Yes. They are very high in acidic level. In acidic so level. So when you use them in the Azola farming, mm -hmm. the Azola will dry out. Mm. Mm. You will kill the Azola, yes, basically, it, due it, to acidity. It, yes. So, so the most ideal uh, manure m uh, component in uh, the growth of ma Azola is cow manure. Yes, cow manure. Cow dunk, mm -hmm. if I may call it. Uh, that is now the media because of the pH pH content. The, yeah, pH, the pH content. Level, yes. The pH level yes, yes, of the manure. Yes. So viewers, this is Azola. Okay. So this is now an Azola pond. Yes, this is an Azola let pond. Me, let me return this here. Let me return here. This is now Azola. I'm returning it to where I got it from. No. So Azola is kind of uh yes. Thank you. Viewers, this is Banamusembi, a prominent Azola farmer. In Machakos, he made me drive all the way from Nairobi. Right here where we are, it's in Mutituni. Uh, Mutituni area, it's almost three kilometers to Mutituni town. Machakos County, East Africa, Africa, uh, Kenya, Africa. So, tell us more about uh, the, the Azola pond making. Azola? I can see a black pepper here. Yeah, this is a I can liner. see water. Yes. This, this is a dam liner, yeah? Yes, yes, dam liner. Yes, what, of which quality? Oh, so in this pond, uh -huh. this is this pond is one foot depth. One foot depth. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. This one foot. Yes. One foot depth. The size, the dimension is twenty-three feet uh -huh. by nine feet. Twenty-three feet by nine feet. Yes, and in meters, that in meters is seven point two meters and three meters. Seven point two meters by in three meters. In width. Yes. In, in the length. In in in, in, in length, length. I mean breadth. And in width, it's three meters. Okay, yes. but that is not standard. That you is not can standard. dig your Zola based on the paper you have. Yes. And uh, this is what could accommodate the paper you had. Yes, yes. Oh, good. So, so you say the depth is? One foot. One foot. Yes. Uh, a ruler, a school ruler. Yes. 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 So in that one foot, mm -hmm. we only had water to the 20th feet. Mm -hmm. This will to allow the 20th feet. Yes. Out of the 30 foot. We do to the 20th centimeter. Yes. Simply because the 30 centimeter, we do it up to 20 centimeters. Yes, you leave the other 10 centimeters. Mm -hmm. This simply because when it rains, mm -hmm. you will have to accommodate that Rain amount water. of water. Oh. Yes, how you create your outlets. Yes, you can use outlets mm -hmm. for the excess water mm -hmm. runoff. Mm -hmm. So, in this, for a making a pond like this one, mm -hmm. you will have to have cow dung. That yes. cow dung mm -hmm. here, we use three drums, yes. the, the 100 liter drum there. Mm, that one, yes. Show viewers that drum. Yes, we use that two drums. Yes. Is that what we use to fertilize our azola? Yes. So after you have set the pond, mm -hmm. you only need to add water and the manure. Yes. Then after the manure is settled, yes. you need now to add your azola seeds. Oh. Yes. Wonderful. After this, the manure has settled. Yes, so after the manure has settled. Before, before yeah, introducing yes, yes. the azola to your pond. Yes. 
Wonderful. And a trick we do when when planting, mm -hmm. let's say this is your azola seeds. Yes. And you want your azola to go like very fast. Mm -hmm. You just do this. You do oh. this y simply. You are splitting them into many it's, it's parts. Smaller, smaller. This is a bacterial. Mm -hmm. This uh, yeah, this is a aquatic fan. An aquatic fan. Oh. Yes, and okay. it is multiplied by the means of spores. So when you do this, yes. You have created many different individual plants. Yes. Each, each root will be now it's is an individual plant. Oh, okay. So when okay. you do this, you wrap your pond will multiply very very fast. Rapidly. Yes. yes. That is a trick we I use. I can here. even see. I can even see yeah. so far. Do it again for the viewer to see, please. Do it again to show them how to multiply. This is how you do it. Uh, this is an aquatic fern. That is what Farmer Musembi tells me. And uh, when you do this, mm -hmm. Now it will multiply. You can now see it has already multiplied. Yes. So from there it will grow. Yes. And how big can it grow? Or now it is at its optimal size? Now it's in optimal size. Yes. What Adola it does. It never grows beyond that. Yes. What Adola does. Yes. It creates a very dense mat. Oh. It's very dense. Yes. This mat. Yes. They it, grow on top of the other. Yes. Okay. Okay. In okay. fact, when this pond is very full. Mm hmm. Kids may think it's a football pitch <laughs> okay, because okay. of the green. Uh, yes, by the way, it looks a, a carpet. Yeah, a kind yeah, of a carpet. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you can you can you can even step on on top, thinking that this is some kind of mm. a carpet which is uh, which is been uh, laid. Kumbe, it's is a zola. Yes. Oh, so okay. for a pond like this one, mm -hmm. we have the harvesting potentials. Yes. Here we can harvest twelve kgs daily. Twelve. Kgs from day. this pond. From this pond. Yes. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this mm -hmm. small space you, uh, where you can see the azola is where we harvested today. Oh, okay. This small oh, space. this this uh, blank this, space. Uh, yeah. This blank space. This is where and it was here, harvested. Today. Yes. Here okay. we harvested 10 kgs only from this space. Wow. Up to there. If I may ask you, do you sell the azola to do do? probably other farmers? Yes, we do sell. Mm -hmm. We sell them as seeds. Mm -hmm. We don't sell them as feeds. Yes. We sell this in terms of cages. Yes. So when a farmer is asking for the seeds, you just come here, you shorter oh, them, you, you sell... harvest, and you measure the, the weight, then you sell. You sell, Mr. Mosembi tells me, he sells them as seed. Yes. Not the feed. Yes. But is there a way you can still sell them as feed? Yes, you can still sell, sell them as feed, but the the cost mm -hmm. the feed there's a feed it will go like 70 bob for a kg uh, less the seeds it's go 1000 for a kg yeah. okay this this is some very commendable work yeah. in yeah. so tell us yeah. after you've given us the dimension yes yeah. and you've told us it's one foot yeah. down one full ruler yeah. down yeah. so i can see some black stuff here polythene paper yeah. so this is a, a layout of the pond yes yeah. a paper which water will not seep through. Seep through. Yeah. Oh, great. I can see some more there. Can we go to yes, those other ponds? Mm -hmm. This is where we started. This is where you started. Yeah, this is where and we what started. What is happening? This one looks neglected. This is neglected. We have neglected it for two months. For two months. Yes, we are yes. doing experimental with it. Yes. We are experimenting. Yes. We have not added manure here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so it's two months old without manure. Mm -hmm. This is what will happen when you don't add manure to your azola. Oh. Yes. Okay. We do it for this just to teach the, our visitors. Yes. We still do on our videos yes. we do this to teach people yes so what we'll be doing next we'll, yes. ap we'll be applying manure to this pond to this pond yes this, this is what pond. yes this is the what you will see as the next video yes we'll be applying manure manure to this one. yes and so how you long will... does it take to recover i can see it is brown why is it brown yeah this... it has some brick color yes the on the brick color is simply because of the manure we have not added manure you have so when you manure. add manure here yes, yes. the color will change yes. immediately we had manure in the third day mm -hmm. we start seeing green the, color it changes to, yes to the, and even the, the multiplication color. rate yes. the multiplication rate you can see it has not multiplied like the other pond yes this one mm -hmm. when you add manure it will multiply again now oh yes okay this is the uh, azola which has not been taken care of my very good friend mr Musembi tells me that he has neglected it for the last two, two months. months yes 
simply because for experimental purposes and uh, to show visitors, I mean fellow farmers you come to see to, to see him, what happens when you don't add sufficient manure yes, to, your on your, to your pond. Yes. So this is it. And this is something to be avoided because when it turns to this brick red color, I understand it loses the protein yes, the content in it. The, nutrition the, nutri value. Yes, it the nutritional down. value of it goes down to almost zero. So make sure that as you keep your Azola pond, you must give it sufficient nutrients for it to grow. Also, mm -hmm. you can notice the difference here from mm -hmm. the other pond. Yes. Here we have used the Mjengo pep. Oh, this is the... This is for the aslas, material the for the aslas for, yes. for construction. That, that is an... <laughs> I can even see it is stone. Yes, yes. It has been is here it because for... of the sun? Yes, sun. The, the direct sun. sunlight, yes. Uh, how it long is, has it been here? It has been here for, let's say, 16 months. Okay, 16 one months. One year plus, yeah. But this one, this is a damliner pond. Yes. I mean, yes, the that's paper. a damliner, yeah. Uh, what is the... You told me it's, it's 0 0.1... This is one millimeter. It's one millimeter. One in millimeter now. because it's very hard. Yes. It's very hard. And it goes for Kenya shillings 400 per square per meter. Per square meter. Others will sell at 450 square meters. And, but this one? This, this is one very is cheap. <laughs> a roll goes at 2,500. A roll of this. A roll? Yeah, and and a roll is uh, how many meters? 36 meters. 36 meters yeah. of 2,500. For a person who wants to do something like this. Which tells you a meter is less than, less than 100 Kenya yeah, shillings. Yes, yes. Okay. For us, lads who want to start something like this and they don't have this the This is uh, where you started. This was my first pond, by the way. I did it on maintain 20, it, maintain 2022. It. Yes. Yes. December. Maintain it. It will actually yeah, I have other keep reminding also. you when, of, of where you started. When when people come, mm -hmm. I always like to teach even the small farmers. Yes. Those who don't have the capacity to do the big ponds. Yes. Yeah, what you use. These are the small ones. Yes. These ones. This is four by six. Four by six. Four by six feet. And yes. on this pond, on this pond, mm -hmm. the harvest potential is one kg. One kg daily, yes, for daily. this single pond. How long does it immediately you place your seedlings in a in a, an Azola pond? Yes. How long does it take to multiply? For uh, for it to grow to a point of harvest. For a small pond like this one, yes. when you add one kg here, yes. you only need seven days. Seven but days. for a big pond like the others, like this one. give them 14 days. 14 days. Yes. Is this the bottom or what is this? This is... Make sure that you don't get inside. Oh, okay. These are the manure residues. Oh, okay. Yes. Manure residues. Yes. Uh, when, you use ex when you use excess manure, yes. some of it will be floating. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Like if there is no problem with that. And, and, and what is the ratio of uh, the manure to water? Oh, so sir, for a pond like this one, mm -hmm. for a 4 by 6 feet pond, yes. you need 1 kg after every 14 days. 1 kg? Yeah, yes. Yeah, we only use 1 kg. 1 kg. The same as this, 1 the kg. Same that one. But for these bigger ponds, yes. this year we use 8 kg. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I can see some water overflowing. Is it yes. water overflowing? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, Biwa, let's take a walk. We are still at. Uh, Farmer Musembi, and by the way, my very good friend here and fellow farmer uh, Geoffrey Musembi has a YouTube channel which goes by the name Young Farmer Kenya. Kindly view it, uh, watch it, subscribe, and like. You will get more content on uh, Azola farming because he majors in that. So, welcome, viewers. Say hi to viewers and welcome and tell them about your channel. Hello, guys. My name is Geoffrey again. I have a channel. My channel Lando is at Young Farmer Kenya. When you visit that channel, you will get to know more about Azola. We have done several videos on that. Welcome to our channel. You will find something good to help you. About Azola. Yes. Thank you, my brother. Let's take a walk. Mm -hmm. 18. So this is the, the pipe you use to add water. Yes, this, this is the pipe, the pipe use. you use to, to add water. Yeah? Yeah. For, a, for Azola farming, mm -hmm. if you want to do good in Azola farming, mm -hmm. you will have to have sufficient 
water. Water. Now it doesn't have to be saline. Mm -hmm. This water is not saline. It's, it's fresh. Oh, you, you're even drinking it. Yes, it's very. very no, it's not saline. Okay. It's so if almost want, fresh. Yes. If you want to succeed in your uh, Azola family, by the way, make sure you don't this have is a pure, saline water. It is this pure is water. Pure water. Very. I mean, the pH is very good. Yes. Should so be in the range of six, mm -hmm. seven to seven point five. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so that we had the water challenge mm -hmm. and we had to address it. Mm -hmm. We went at bigger well. Yes. And the lucky thing with our place, yes. the water the water table. Yes. And the the underground rocks. Yes. They are not salty. They are not salty. Yes. Oh wonderful. Mm -hmm. So okay. let's go back now to the mother of all ponds. The I can see this is the that's the manual. The manual. Oh, hey, we use dry cow duck. Oh, dry, see. not we, wet. We like it wet, dry. Uh -huh. We like it dry. How Simply. about when you use fresh one? So, the problem with the fresh one, mm -hmm. the cow urea. Mm -hmm. If you want to use the fresh one, make sure you have not collected it from somewhere there, there was the cow urea. Oh. The cow urea is very acidic. Oh, very acidic and so it when, will kill. Yeah, the same yeah, so, like. oh. so if you want to use the fresh one, make sure it doesn't have any cow, any cow, cow urea. urea. Yes. We because of the acidity uh, level. Yeah, so to eliminate that, yes. we use only this. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, that is something uh, you should know, my dear farmer, fellow viewer. If you need to use to be successful in Azola farming, kindly apply dry cow dug. Uh, cow dug without, I mean, which is dry because uh, for Mosembi tells me it is devoid of urine, uh, urine which we are avoiding into the pond because urine has high acidic content which will eventually affect your Azola, uh, Azola production. production. Yes. yes. And yes. Sure you are with others. Okay. Yes. Come no, close. No, no, no. I hope you are getting us loud and clear. Hello, now know. from Musembi, young former Kenya, YouTuber young former Kenya from Musembi has gone to collect his apparatus so that he may demonstrate to us how to harvest Azola for animal feed. So stay with me as you we wait for Fama Musemi to come back. Kindly remember to subscribe, like, leave any comment at the comment section below. Ask any question, I'll be more than uh, impressed to, to answer you. Leave any compliment, just a shout out, and, and, and I will I'll truly appreciate your comment. And uh, don't forget to share to other farmers, to other viewers, so that we may show them the secret to successful poultry and cattle keeping or other uh, animal husbandry. The secret, the in thing, the new kid in the block, Azola farming. Very high in protein content. Holy. Now, I want to show you how we harvest our Azola. I want to show you how we get those 12 kg I'm saying about from this spot. Yes. And another thing I had forgotten to tell you, Mr. Ivan. Yes. Azola farming requires 50% sunlight. As you can see here, we have trees. Yes. We don't have the capacity to have the shade nets for now, but yes. we use the available weight. Yes. The shade from these trees. You are saying we don't have the capacity, you don't have the capacity as of now to buy the shade nets. Yes, yes. The shade nets. Yes. But uh, these trees provide the shed you require yes, and in the morning and the, on that other side in the evening. Yes. And Why? That's the only reason mm -hmm. we chose this place. Yes. Azola requires 50% 50, 50 sunlight. So, 50 sunlight. that means it yes. doesn't have to be exposed to the sunlight the whole day. The whole day. It needs sometimes like only two to three hours in a day. Yes. Full sunlight. Yes. The others no shed. Viewer, I hope you've noted that point. Azola farming requires 50% sun, sunlight. Yes. It can even be 60% or 40%, but it needs shed. Shed, yeah, yeah. Shed besides the sunlight. Partial, yes. A partial shed and partial sunlight. Yes. You don't need to expose it to sunlight like the case of that pond, which uh, uh, my cameraman come close. This turning of uh, this browning you can see here is as a result of direct sunshine from morning to evening. This is not the case with this pond. This pond is lack of manure. But this one, this is due to excess sunlight today. 
but that one which is under shed you can see the difference that is a shed area this is all shed and that is sunlight and, and as the sun goes down it will fully be covered by shed in the morning on this side you can see these trees are providing sufficient shade which now gives it a 50 50 percentage of sunshine to shade and for optimal growth of optimal growth of gazola this is it okay Bonamutembi now show viewers how to harvest it's gazola very it's very simple yes when harvesting yes you can you see the very dense layer wow that is past one this is past this is past a kilo yes one scoop one scoop so saying you get 12 kgs from here yes it's very on a, simple on a daily basis it's very simple so one scoop a kilo yes wow this is the in thing farmers this is azola harvesting you just need local material like the, now the scooping basket which is uh, porous so that you don't harvest the water you can also improvise there are people who like improvising yes oh, okay. they can use use of uh, improvision yeah yes, yes they can improvise use some mosquito like nets use, yes, use, use mosquito nets some used rugs so long as they are porous so that you don't scoop the water out of the pot our basket is full yes this is 10 kg this is 10 kg yes and it is true this is 10 kg of azola harvested azola pure uh, chicken feed animal feed i'm told it's good for cattle goat sheep call it cows ducks turkeys all sorts of birds and all sorts of uh, i mean cattle in your homestead high very high in protein content 30 to 40 between 30 to 40 percent pure protein so this stuff will minimize your 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 your, your production cost your production cost 50%. the cost of uh, producing what you keep i mean when it comes to feeding this is the secret azola farming for now viewer let me end the video there i hope you've learned something which you can put into practice uh, at at your place and reduce on uh, animal feed by growing azola Asante sana Bwana Mosembi for allowing me this visit. I've learned a lot. Asante sana my fellow, my cameraman uh, for uh, enabling this video to be shot. Kindly as I bid you goodbye, don't forget to subscribe, like and share for us to grow this channel. Thank you and bye bye. Welcome again guys.